Yeah, everything up here stinks. Okay. Come here. Come to this side. Okay. Move your leg. Let's see. I know, I heard it too. We've investigated this before, but uh, get a nice look at it now. I can't believe there's still a spool on there. And it's just, was in a barn, lived in by rodents, mice. And uh, the whole thing stinks like a barn. It's just nasty. And it does get us very excited. But we did hear a squeak. We just don't know. I thought it was coming from over this corner too, but I don't know. Okay, we did find a mouse and it got out and it ran over this way somewhere because I didn't, I was looking for other compartments. And I did not know that ugh, this was a compartment. Yeah, they've made, I don't know, either a human just left it like that or the mouse did it. Gross. Okay, let's, if I can get this one out. <laughs> and there's the nest. Oh, Guster got one. Here he is. Okay, so a really big one, and now there's this tiny little baby. So we definitely got babies in there. So that's what Gus smelled and heard. Grandpa's going to be happy if you get rid of those. Take them outside. Whoa, there it goes. You missed it, Gus. It went right under you. Okay, out of all of those that came out of that table, oh, I only caught one. You are adorable, little baby. You looked way bigger <laughs> inside there. Okay, but I got you out of there. I hope you have a happy existence somewhere else. Here you go. Good job, little guy. This one, I, I was just walking by and found it in the grass. And Gus didn't bring any out here, so I don't know where this one came from. But I'm guessing something brought it out. So let's see, I lost count of how many there were, but quite a few. Okay, got two more babies. I'm not sure if that one's dead. It was the one that made it to the floor. So, it's breathing. Hopefully your parents will find you and move out here. Oh, where's the other one? Hey there, can you see Gus back there? You might be able to just see his reflective collar. Um, so we just found a second nest in that antique sewing table. The parents went running. Um, I think a couple other ones might have made it out to safety, but there were some babies, three all together, that I was able to put out aside at the edge of the woods. Um, a couple of them seemed a bit more active and developed than there was one that had thumped to the floor, but it was still breathing. And I keep thinking I hear squeaks. So does Gus. He's, he is so 
focused right now. He doesn't even want Tritos. 